up, dog collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I am currently in the process of cleaning up my craft room, which means everything is pretty much a mess. See, it's a mess. And this is an improvement. However, my hidden doll rooms are still organized because I have a system. And that's what we're slowly trying to do around the rest of the room. And I realize that I do need one permanent doll space that's always set up and ready for photos. Because right now, whenever I wanna take a photo, I have to set up and hope that my table is clear. Not that it's difficult, it just takes time. But now we're all set up and ready to take doll photos. And yes, this is a new outfit from Elite Doll World on Etsy. But then I gotta clean up and I just want something that is always ready. On a side note, I've been shopping on Amazon and I found this Barbie grill. It's a replacement part for one of the newer dream houses. I love that I can find some of the furniture and accessories without having to buy the whole house but it's kind of a hit or miss for availability and selection. And I don't have the stickers that go on the bottom. But if we flip it around, it's party time. Confession, I love Barbie accessories. And random stuff I find on Amazon, like these chairs. I wanna say they were like $6.99 each. I bought them a while back, but the listing on Amazon has disappeared. So I don't know what happened there. They're plastic and they have a nice little shape to them. They were not made for Barbie, but they work perfectly. Nice size and everything. Back to the room. For my permanent setup, I'm going to use our wooden box rooms with the magnetic wallpaper. That way, whenever I feel like a change, we can simply swap out the wallpaper and use magnets to hang wall art. Oops. So here are my three rooms with magnetic wallpaper. Our fall decor room, our room extension, and the front door. Only I need the door to be on this wall. So I'm going to try to remove it so we can salvage that wall. Ah, oh, wow, I glued this on really good. Got it. I removed the contact paper. If you wanna see how we made these rooms, check out our dollar store box room video, our magnetic wallpaper video, that's where we made the door, and our fall bedroom. I got a new board because the other one got a little damaged in the renovation. And we're gonna just glue this onto the back so the door is on the side. I glued the wall with the door on the outside of the back wall so it doesn't fit the floor. No worries, we'll just add the board that got a little damaged on the outside and we'll just glue those two together using a little wood glue or quick drying tacky glue. While waiting for that to dry, I picked up this contact paper from Target. It was $5 a roll. I'm using it to cover my craft table for a little protection from the chaos that is Toya. I like it. Plus, since it's removable, if I mess it up, I can just remove it and lay down new paper. And it could make a good backdrop for doll photos. And yes, this is another new outfit from Elite Doll World. The glue on our boards is dry. Let's glue the walls in place and let's glue on another board on the outside. It does hang over the edge a little, but we'll just keep that out of the shot. I went into my wood bin and found a scrap of wood and cut it into strips. I used a few to make a small box that I can glue on the other side of the door, but it has to be painted first. And I glue a few strips onto the side going across and a few going straight up. Then let's add a few hot glue stones to the bottom by making little mounds of glue. Then paint it, including the little box we made, and allow it to dry. While waiting, let's check out some self-care Barbies. I got these for $16.99 and $22.99. This one is all about working out. It comes with a doll with a one shoulder top that has no opening in the back, biker shorts with an elastic waistband, 
pink shoes, a leash that attaches to the doll's waist so she can run with her pup hands-free. Although the pup is sitting. There's a tennis racket with a ball. The ball is removable. There's a small pink gym bag, weights and a water bottle, boxing gloves, and hot pink roller skates with stationary wheels. Aw man, this doll can move at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. This one has a home spa theme. Oh wow, check out those accessories. We get a doll dressed in a lemon robe. The belt is not attached. She has a plastic headband and wears a pair of matching sandals. She has the same articulation as the workout doll, comes with a puppy that can fit the workout doll's leash. So if you want a running partner, here you go. There are two eye masks, one for the doll and one for the dog. There's a small pink face towel, a rubber duck, a few home spa accessories. This is too cute. There's a little round container of rose soaps and a candle. Oh, and don't forget the foot spa. Sorry, new doll, but I am totally taking the accessories. I have been looking for this confetti bath ever since I heard it was coming out for this shelving unit. With the last self-care bath playset, the shelving unit was attached to the tub, which made things a little problematic for me in the dollhouse. I needed them to be two separate pieces. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah. This one also comes with a little dog. The shelving unit is a wood color, which is awesome. We get a plant and a cat planter. It has one of those little pegs on the bottom so it can stay on the shelf without worrying about it falling off. There's a plastic sign that says love yourself, a natural sponge on a stick. The bathtub is white. It comes with a little towel. The faucet is silver and attached. There's a tray that sits across it with another candle, a little bottle of lotion or soap. Well, there's a bar of soap there, so we're gonna call that lotion. And the description says this is a small brush, but it looks like one of those stones, you know, for scrubbing your feet. Yeah, because you know, wearing heels all day can be hard. We got one with the doll that comes with a robe as well. The little towels are more like kitchen towels to me. Or maybe we can just lay it on the floor for when the doll gets out the tub. But I think these little accessories will go with this playset nicely. Yeah, that totally works. The included doll has a sculpted bathing suit and a fabric wrap. There is no articulation at the elbows, but this doll can still bend at the knee and it can fit inside the tub. The paint is dry, so let's glue in that little beam that we made right on the side of the door, giving us a nice little frame going all the way around. I lightly brush the ground with a little gray paint to look like a little concrete entryway. While that's drying, let's use the same contact paper we used on our table for the floor in the house. This way, if the scene goes a little past the set, it won't matter because it'll all just blend in. It just looks like a step. Here's my room extension and our fall room. Let's clear it out, remove the wallpaper, and now we can see the full size of our space. I think I want all the floors to match. Yeah, let's cover them. And then it's time to decorate. Let's bring the bed back in. We have our stairs to nowhere, which could be a divider for the bedroom. We can use it to cover the seam in the wall. However, I really like the look of books, so I kind of want to place it on its side. We're still covering the seam, and now you can see all of our books. Plus, this division will allow me to use two different wallpapers. And maybe we can turn this side into more storage by cutting strips of wood and gluing them onto the sides. Glue shelves in between, paint it to match. While waiting for that to dry, let's pick out our wall colors. I'm using scrapbook paper 
and I want to go with something floral and we can do two different colors Ooh, what about this one we have a little gold to it and for our other color I like this it's very bold and I think we can pull all the colors together I made this quilt a while back I think that could possibly go so let's make our wallpaper by gluing it onto a magnetic sheet and then it's done place it on the wall and voila flowers everywhere wow that's uh that's a lot of flowers but since it's magnetic wallpaper we can change it whenever we want i'm adding a white plush comforter to the bed i fold the quilt in half and we're gonna lay it at the bottom oh my goodness i'm living out all of my pastel fantasies right now i made this bench for a closet now I don't know if it really matches, but I kind of love the shape. So we're gonna just put it at the bottom of the bed and see how we feel about it. Let's add a few pillows, maybe even the round pillow from the Disney Illy accessory pack. Our new and improved bookcase is dry with added shelving. We can place it right next to the bed by the seam and add a few items to the shelves. Even our little file folder basket fits on the shelf. I made some black boxes for our advent calendar room. I'm going to take some of the Illy packaging and glue a piece onto the front to make a little storage box. Let's also add the Disney Illy Forever bed tray. Our Bridgerton paintings. I added some really strong magnets to the back, then used another magnet on the other side of the wall to hold it in place. I'm using a plant to cover up that gap in the wall. Let's bring in a jewelry box couch. I removed the pillows. They were glued in place and left a little residue, but no worries, cause we're gonna just cover them up with a few new pillows. We can add a few more Illy accessories like Cinderella's clock and Belle's organizer. I'm using our Bridgerton table as a side table. We can place the organizer on top and one of our beaded ceramic lamps. There we go. And maybe a little air freshener. I place a button light in our lamp so it has a little glow and place a little tree from Target outside. Completing our little room makeover. We went crazy with the florals today, but I love how it's not permanent because we're using our magnetic wallpaper. With this color palette, we can easily bring in some of our Disney Illy Forever accessories so our little Disney bounding friends can feel right at home while not locking us into a Disney theme so we can use other dolls with this space as well. Thank you for joining us while we renovated our doll rooms, looked at a few Amazon fun finds, and Barbie self-care play sets. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!